So these are three, one, two, three dog cherries that uh, I took as cuttings last year. And I'm gonna repot them on as individual trees because their roots will probably be really strong to do so. So these, th these are potting compost that had tulips in them through the winter. So it's not fresh compost that I'm putting them in. Uh, so it's kind of slightly tired, but I will also be feeding them. So this is what I'm gonna pot the dog cherries into. And you can see their spotted trunks. That's how I know, because this kind of leaf looks like all cherry trees, or and it can look like other kind of trees as well. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna divide this up and divide these three up and pot them on their own. I probably should have done them a while ago. So um, they're gonna get a lot of water because they're not gonna like this. But because I've left them so long, they will have a really good root structure um, underneath them. I have a cousin who's been asking me for um, a dog cherry uh, for a while. So I'll be giving her one of these at some stage this year when she comes down to visit. So these are, I'm just weeding the top part. So they're gonna get fresh compost they have the old compost in the bottom, and then I'll have fresh compost around the top, um, is what I'm going to do. So it will take two hands to separate these beautiful babies out. So I'll take more cuttings this year later on as well. And here we have three dog cherries. And they're going to get a really good soaking in their new pots. That one tipped over. I probably didn't firm it down enough. Oh, baby. There we go. There we go, baby. Good tree. Come on. Now, those will soak in there all day long. And uh, hopefully, they will not be too traumatized by being separated, having been together since uh, they rooted. I think I took five or six cuttings and three took. So they're looking very healthy. I'm gonna dip some more water. This jug is on its last legs. It's got cracks all over it. So I'm gonna have to, uh... oops. Let this jug die a death. It's not gonna last much longer. It's so convenient. I got it for free too, this plastic jug. And it works really well. Anyway, there we go. Those three are very well watered and will soak away for the rest of the day. Now, to go off and do other things. I am doing loads of transplanting, Big, putting pots. Sorry, putting plants into bigger pots and taking them out of smaller pots. So it's constant upcycling. I've got to plant out these uh, Love in the Mist. I really should be doing that, actually.